That being said, opening up the open mic. I always like to carry a white candle with me for the ancestors. So oftentimes, we only remember the ancestors when we get sick, or we're not feeling well. You know too, in certain cultures, we have to make an offering as well. Woo! We have Scope, we have a Voice of Liberation, they're doing some spoken word. Yo, matter of fact, let me get in my bag. Spoken word. I'm, I heard from the birds. I'm really that nigga. And you could go to the curb. Hey! We all got a background in music, and yeah. we all know that in our food culture, music and food goes well together. Uh -huh. um, and we believe in, you know, Spice is life. So, but yeah, we're, we're all about the community, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Just like you guys are fully loaded, you know? What are you providing tonight? Well, you know, um, I'm also a, a, a neighbor of Voices of Liberation, you know what I mean? I see the work that they've been doing. Sometimes they don't even see me, but I see them. When I be driving down the street, always uplifting the young people out here. You know what I mean? They're feeding the community every week, so whenever I can give back, you know what I mean? We got some vegan wraps, you know what I mean? Filled with protein, some empanadas in there as well. You know what I mean? What's empanadas so, for um, We got um, chickpea curry. Oh. So it tastes like, you know, chicken curry, you know what chicken I mean? Chicken curry. Oh. We gotta eat better and we gotta um, live better, you know what I mean? We over here eating really good, rhythm and raps, voice of liberation. I'm gonna start rapping. And these niggas hating, I'm straight boots, and niggas ain't stopping me. I'm that nigga, and niggas can't rock with me. Hey, yo, do you want me to get me started, bro? Niggas thought that Mel's is the rapper? I'm really the rapper. And all these years, we fight back tears, but you stay. Alana Marie. Alana Marie just sang her ass off in there. For real. Yo, she, yo, the vibrations is everywhere, bro. I, dog, I thought I was in heavy for a little bit. <laughs> so I've been making music for the last three years, um, but I've been classically and trained in jazz, so it's been really fun. In terms of like when I write, this song was a little bit different because it's about so many different things and it can be interpreted in so many different ways. Um, in terms of that song, I performed Wish I Knew. Um, it is not released, but it was really fun to make and it's about basically being estranged from someone and them staying away from you even though you might want to work things out or something. Yeah. Now, Alana, I have a quick question. This is like, it's not really random, but kind of. Do you ever like listen to like vibrations, like 4, 3, 432 hertz music or like 963? Like, do you know about those? Yeah. So I actually just started um, vocal lessons recently too, and that was one thing that, because I learned from my students as much as they learned from me, um, where they send different frequencies and everything, and I've, I've always known the power of frequency, but I never thought about it when I'm singing, because I just hear harmonies in my head and I make them work, but they definitely cause high emotions, high feelings. Um, so yes, I have heard of that. I'm still learning though. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah, definitely. The music that a lot of us listen to, like, it kind of messes with us. That's why, like, yeah. certain music will make us, like, depressed. Certain music yeah. will make us high. Obviously, that music in there, but what she was singing elevated. made us feel el feel yeah. elevated. I don't know what that <laughs> what that hurts was, but it definitely was up. I don't know. Thank you so much. Tell people where to find you. Yeah, so on Instagram, you can find me at alanamarie.am. So that's A-L-A-N-A. M A R I E dot A M, and the links in my bio are actually links to my music. So that's where you can find me. Yeah, stop with all that trap music all the time. I mean, you gotta, you gotta elevate yourself sometimes. I mean, gotta, then we listen to Future after. <laughs> you need a piece of polar chair if you call me Karma Chameleon. I ain't holding no feelings in, just got no debate for hate, nor the love is concealed within. Never had a fail safe, when will it feel safe to feel again? Shout out all my indigos trying to make guy a real again. We've been invincible. Same winds that try to cave your ceiling in or blow you low enough to meet your roots so you can build with them. Firm foundation used to be bound to the matrix. All the while visiting different dimensions on a regular basis while they try to figure me out. And I'm here with Soul. This is actually the person that inspired. Soul inspired. I mean, <laughs> so like, so, so I seen y'all, seen you talking 
up there he's talking about some real stuff talking yeah. about like the getting out the matrix and shit. Yeah. Like, I think that bar was uh used to be bound to the matrix mm -hmm. all the while visiting different dimensions on a regular basis so just recognizing that we're multi-dimensional beings yeah. and a lot of times that we kind of feel not so much trapped but bound or restricted by this body or by this society or by this frequency exactly. of this dimension in general the message one of the main messages is about you know feeling or being able to find uh, a way to fly, so to speak, beyond those illusions Series. of the bounds. Because yeah. they are illusions. So yeah. that's the message that I push a lot, is just about liberating what, oneself. What do you think, like, what do you think today is is like an illusion or like keeping people like in bounds? What do you think? Well, mo most things, <laughs> most things are most illusions things, right? as far as like, um, we have a lot of unlearning and re reprogramming to do, so to speak. Um, anything in particular come to mind, I would just say um, the things that we're taught or are uh, higher on the scale of importance is usually the other way around.